Lisa Croft, co-founder of the KingdomMessengerNetwork.com. Our special guest, the Georgia worship team, consisting of Ken and Cindy Winkles. Ken, you're sharing about kind of how the Lord dragged you from uh, maybe playing secular music. Why don't you tell us about that dramatic day when the conviction of the Lord just came on you and you knew that you had to go in a different direction? Exactly. Uh, we were playing in a, a riverboat in, in Missouri up there around St. Louis and, and, and stuff, of, you know, different places like that. And he had been working on me. This had the convict, the real hard conviction had been working on me for about a week. And I was so miserable, I mean, miserable. And I didn't want to play. I didn't want to sing. But I went ahead and did the show. And at the first set, uh, after about three songs, I turned around, you know, I told the audience, I says, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I love you greatly, but this will be Ken Rondell's last show. And didn't really give him an explanation why. I just told him I, I've had a change of heart and turn around to the band. The band didn't know. And I said, guys, this is it. I'm sure uh, you guys can have all the equipment, everything to keep going. Uh, I'm, I'm out of here. And, uh, and that's the way he basically shut it down. We're talking to the Georgia worship team. It's Ken and Cindy Winkles. Ken telling us about this dramatic moment in the recording studio about the song, I Call Your Name. Take it away, Ken. It was, it was the sweet Lord. The, uh, he, the conviction had done, uh, I won't say following me around, it had engulfed me. And... We were in the studio, we was cutting a CD, and we was doing a country CD, and all of a sudden, you know, the words and the music, I, I was playing guitar, and I was in the key of G, and started playing and singing, but the Holy Spirit had come in there, and I didn't know, because I started crying, you know, I mean, I was so tired of the life I was living, and everybody started crying, and everybody started playing along with the song because musicians know where the other musicians are going to go with the music and I started singing the words you know that uh Jesus. There's a light in my eye that I can't hide. And it, it, we wrote the song, the music, and I wrote, I had the words, word for word. Didn't have to do it over, didn't have to do anything. The Holy Spirit wrote that song right there in the studio. Then the wives of the band would take the tape as we were playing in the clubs and in the theaters, go outside in the car and sit down and listen to the song and cry. And then they would share their hearts. And uh, that's how that song, song got started. Oh, I call your name. I call 